you do the intro. Say good morning, everyone. Uh. Good morning, and welcome to another vlog. <laughs> There's another home vlog. Not really doing much because obviously we're in another tier lockdown. I've no idea what the situation is now, but uh, yeah, I think we're in another tier. Or it's going to lock down after Christmas or whatever, but. It's only six days to go to Christmas. I think we've got everything wrapped. You've done all your wrapping, babe? Mm -hmm. So we've been such storing a lot of our wrapping stuff in here so we can see all the presents, the stockings are filled. All the Christmas presents are wrapped and ready to be opened. Apart from those two. Oh, seen them. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna probably just go out on a drive this morning and then take him to the canal maybe on the way back. But yeah, it's half eight now. We've got everyone dressed. We've done some of the laundry this morning, so let's, uh, let's get him out and about before his nap. Anyway, try and tire him out a little bit. One hour later. We are back home. We had to uh, cut the, cut the uh, potential walk short because it started peeing down outside. It's like absolutely pouring down out there. Like we drove a bit, dropped off some Christmas presents to some people, some of our friends, and uh, by the time we got to the canal, it was still like sunny, it was like bright and sunny, and then we got to the canal, put his puddle suit on, put his buddies on, like put him down, and it literally just started peeing down. So because me and Danielle didn't really have any waterproofs, like our coats are like, you know, showerproof maybe, but they're not waterproof in the slightest, and uh, we would have got absolutely just soaking wet because it hasn't stopped raining since. We just saw the the uh, black clouds, it was really dark. And I uh, thought, well, hopefully this will pass over and when he wakes up from his nap, we'll uh, take him out then, maybe to the canal or something or somewhere else. Yeah, we did stop by Tesco's to get some bread and we got sausage rolls. So, because he was uh, really upset, we got him a sausage roll instead, didn't we? Is it tasty? The sausage roll wall. Oh, it's all the food in your mouth, mister. <laughs> Can you say sausage roll? <laughs> Be very surprised if you do. <laughs> so yeah, it's just got half nine now. Going to just gonna eat my sausage roll now, and then uh, Edison will probably be going down for his nap about ten o'clock. So yeah, play in the meantime. You a thirsty boy? Thirsty work, isn't it? How long your hair's getting? Maybe we didn't get a cut last time, did we? We meant to have our hair cut today, but we postponed it. Because Tom's been poorly, hasn't he? The garden update, I need to take the netting off really, but you can I mean, you can see all the grass that's grown. Still very, very sparse though, it needs to either thicken up or I need to, uh, need to seed it more. But at least it's grown. Hopefully I should have it done for next spring, summer. There's some there anyway, taking root. And we've just waved Mummy off, so she's uh, just popping into town to try and get some presents last minute for me for my birthday, which is in the middle of January. But um, yeah, we're going to go into lockdown, like a full of lockdown after Christmas, they think. So she wants to either have a look or get something now so she doesn't have to wait until after Christmas in case there's like a big mad rush and she can't get anything. So just the boys. Just the boys. You'll be getting tired soon. Going down for your nap, won't you? Hey, be going down for your nap. Sleepy boy. <laughs> Say hello. You silly boy. Say hello. <laughs> You silly. 
Yeah, we love you though, don't we? We love you, silly boy. Pedersen's stay in prison that now. He's, uh, I'll just check the monitor and he's nodded off since so half ten. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm probably just going to play on the computer. But I've got a sort of, I've just set it up on the island here. There's normally it's on the table here. But uh, when I got home from work Thursday, so two days ago, this table, we did have extended, it just collapsed. So maybe we had too much weight on it or. Yeah, maybe I'd leaned on it too much because I'd sit at the desk and obviously, you know, lean on it a bit and whatnot, do my editing, play some games and yeah, just collapse in the middle so we had to take everything off. My computer has been sort of sitting in the utility room in there for a while, so yeah, set it up here for now. I don't know whether we will get into the desk to go away here or not or whether we'll uh, leave it like that and I'll just have to keep sort of setting it up by here when I want to use it. Yeah, we need to find uh, some space ready for all the stuff we had to take off the table so I think most of it can probably go under the stairs because we've got loads of boxes under there like old PlayStation box and the Virgin Media box so they can all just go I don't know why we've still got them but um, probably get rid of them there'll be plenty of space then to uh, to put all all of the stuff off the table in there so, yeah I'm gonna, gonna probably do that now and uh, and then uh, I'll play on my computer. So that's that for now. A bit more space to store, sort of a few boxes around here and into the right because these bags can go on top of the boxes we've got to store. Yeah, I took out a load of the old boxes and you know, it was all like old tool bits or just general stuff when I was working on the case, all little bits and screws and bits of plastic and other. So I popped all that in a box and put them in the garage, got rid of all the boxes we didn't need. Had my old PlayStation box and my laptop, which I had apparently from 2013, 2012. So, yeah, get rid of all that, a bit of space. We could put things like Danielle's. Uh, machine over here underneath and whatnot so yeah bare space for other things but for now I'm just gonna put the washing that's done in the tumble dryer put another load on and then probably play on the computer for a bit and Danielle's just got back just surprised me with a Nutella crepe from uh, the German market they've got in apparently I munch that while playing Rome Total War Everything going on, so it's probably quite noisy because we've got the wash machines on, the dishwashers on, and the tumble dryer around the corners on. It's quite noisy in the kitchen. Yeah, I'm gonna tuck into this. Look who's awake! He's a little one! So he's had his lunch. What did he have? He had. What did he have? He had half. He's had the half of the sausage roll from earlier, and some fruit, didn't you? Apple and raspberries. Watching his pepper. But we're going to go out now, mister. There you go, you nice warm jumper on him, Neil. Yeah. Hey, great grandma I've got for you. But yeah, we're going to take you out on the walk, because if we look outside, it's not peeing down anymore. If the camera focuses, it's nice and sunny and bright. Let's take you out to splash in some puddles, shall we, mister? After a chocolate, he said. <laughs> Tasty. Small change of plan, we've come to the canal instead because uh, we went to the fields we were going to go to with all the puddy, the puddle trail, but it was too waterlogged. So, I'm going to take to the canal instead. Canal walk instead, isn't it, mister? Off we go. Again, like the last time I filmed when we were here, first thing he wants to do is go down to the water's edge. Have a little splash. <laughs> Bless him. Yeah, we'll take a nice, nice stroll down the canal and then back up. See how he does. Yeah, man, in Edison, should we get going? This way. Goodbye. This way. Come on in. Ah, and we're off. Oh, it's a little puddle, is it? <laughs> We've found a little puddle to play in. Oh. 
find stones, I think. Come on in. Quack, 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 quack. Can you say duck? Edison, can you say <gasps> duck? Duh, duck. On we go. Oh. Stone ready, go! Wow, that was a big splash, Vista. That was a good throw, wasn't it? Well done. A little pat on there. Splish, splash, splash, splish, splash. <laughs> Woo! Hey, good splashes. Oh, so we haven't got very far, have we? I've literally just gone down to the corner. We've is the other end. I'm down to this bend here because he just wants to stop with like every little thing like this. There's normally a couple of stones. He wants to stop like every one and just throw some stones in the canal. Silly boy. But I guess I made the haste. Fresh air. And uh, yeah, he's he's having fun. And that's the main thing as always. Bit nippy, but it is a lovely, lovely afternoon. Nice for a stroll. Oh, so after that last video I took, he's uh, not stopped walking or well running. Way, that was a good splash. Yeah, we've come to the crossroads where the uh, the canal sort of um, lever thing is. You can change. Yeah, we come down the ramp rather than up. Down on this little metal bridge, which I guess leads to this farmer's field or whatever. I find some stones, I imagine. Just chuck them in by ear on this bridge. Hey, here you go. Way, and another one. Woo! Bye. Have we got any more? Should we find some more? Woo! So he's just seen the waterfall from the canal. And then we're going to head back towards the car. So we all the way around the bend. We went there and I just threw some stones in there. And now we're going to head back. Good boy. Nearly back at the car. The car park's just, just by there. And it's pretty much walked most of the way back. Haven't you, mister? Oh, well, run, I mean. Not walk. He's had a good long walk, he has. Throwing lots of stones in the canal on the way. So yeah, probably just gonna head back now and just warm up in the house and play inside with him. So we'll see you when we get there anyway. And we're back home. Back in the warm, because it was a bit nippy out actually. Oh, even though we had a thick coat on, you still sort of feel it on your fingers. Camera's not uh, focused on me because of the bright background. There we go, that's better. There's Danielle, all pregnant. Still. Mm. How are you feeling, babe? Now. Yeah. Yeah, pregnancy was seven months long. Yeah, just getting a bit sort of fed up with all the heartburn and feeling uncomfortable and not being able to sleep and and also with all the lockdown rules changing and stuff. So one minute I'm sort of allowed at the birth, next minute I'm not. Next I'm sort of allowed for like five minutes. Next I'm allowed for five hours. You know. So currently it stands at thirty minutes. Yeah. So at the moment. December. Not much, but uh, we'll see how it is in February anyway, isn't it? But yeah, we're just going to keep playing with this little munchkin before making tea. So we made a lasagna last night, or Danielle made lasagna last night, and we've had half of it. So we're going to have the other half tonight with probably some like potato wedges or something like that. But yeah, but that's, that's going to be later on anyway. I'll tell you what I might do now actually is uh, set up our six foot inflatable Santa because we haven't actually done that yet. I forgot about it and then I didn't know where it was and then it's, the times I have remembered to sort of uh, put it up it's been like pouring down and really windy so I'm going to probably go do that now actually I might just put it in front of the window. I know Danielle wanted it on the roof, the flat roof this year but I might just put it here for now for when people sort of walk or drive past they can see it. Uh, it's only going to be up for six days because it's the 19th today, so yeah, it can go by here this year and then maybe on the roof next year. I 
Well, there he is, six foot centre with Edison and Danny Allen in the back room. But I'll come out later and uh, take a video when all the lights are on and stuff. Yeah, looks good. Looks very good. Got the uh, three tent poles to sort of uh, hold it up. Right. It's very festive. Wave at people when they come past. Oh, so what do you think of that, mister? What do you think of Santa? What do you think of our inflatable Santa? See, I got my mouth full of crisps, though. No comment. Might let him down for now and then put it back on, sort of later on, when all the lights and stuff go on. Because oh, at the out? moment we've got, yeah, this is our router, this is the, um, the inflatable, and then we've also got a plug for the lights. So our fence lights there, so we're going to have to get an extension lead from somewhere. Yeah, let's go nab the box, oh, bring it in. Got blame with this food set. What have we got here? And where's banana? Where's the banana? <laughs> Goodbye, banana. Where's the cheese? Where's the cheese? Goodbye, Goodbye. cheese. Yay. Where's the apple? Oh, what Daddy's been calling an apple. Oh, Goodbye. <laughs> where's the apple? Where's the apple? Yeah. Apple! Good boy! Are you eating the apple? That's how we do it, isn't it? You go... Daddy's turn, is there? Your turn. Can <laughs> we kick both balls at once then? Hey! Aim the ball! Are you going to throw them? Bounce them. Hey, bounce. Hey, good boy. <laughs> Bit of a mess on the tea, but we got reheated lasagna from last night that Danielle made in the microwave, and then some chips and fries with it. Wedges. I'll just go show you outside quickly. Now it's gone dark. We got everything on. We'll go uh, take a look. The house with all the lights and centre on. There we go. There's the house with the lights and centre and everything on. The only thing missing is this bush tree here because um, it was on battery operated lights but they've been sat in water. The water's gone inside the compartment so they're not working at the moment but very, very festive. So I forgot to show also that we uh, put the lights on the banister as well so that uh, that's all lit up at night as well. It's very pretty, very festive. I know how much Danielle likes lights, so we've made the effort to sort of put them all up this year. <laughs> I hope the battery just ran out, so I've just swapped it. But literally, I'm just going to do an intro anyway, so yeah. Got all the Christmas lights up. Deed's ready. So let's just tuck in now. I'm probably just going to leave her at that, because after tea, I'm just going to be playing with Edison before it's bedtime. Oh, I'm actually playing Among Us tonight. We are a full 10 lobby, so something to look forward to, but yeah. It is actually the next day, but I thought I'd just record this because Nanny's bought Edison and it'll decorate your own gingerbread house. So we're going to do that with him on the table and see how it turns out anyway. I'll probably just do a little time lapse. And we're all done, mister. What do you think of it? Are you pleased with your gingerbread house that you've built? So I'm pleased with all the sweets of you. <laughs> Are you so pleased? Can I take a picture from here? Are you pleased with your... Are you pleased with your gingerbread house? <laughs> Here's the finished product, so give a 
quick 360 tour. <laughs> Look at that! Caved in a bit there at the top, you can see. Cheeky! There's the back, or the front, whichever. There's the other side. Fun little activity to do with him. He was actually really good at sort of sticking the, uh, the sweets on. Obviously, he was picking up them as well. Cheeky boy, but uh, it's all fun and games, isn't it? So just as a comparison, this is what the gingerbread house is supposed to look like, according to the picture. And this is what ours looks like. I mean, yeah, it's pretty close, isn't it? Not too much difference there. Practically the same. Don't see any difference. Ours has got an extra sprinkling of love from Edison on it anyway. Yeah, it's good fun, good family activity. Maybe something we could do yearly anyway. <laughs> With that being said, hope you enjoyed.